Orange County are kind of in the same boat. What can we expect from two desperate squads here? Well, Whitecaps 2, they can still get 38 points. It would take an absolute miraculous set of results for them to make the postseason now. One win in the last 16, not a great run of form. Orange County, though, had looked quite comfortable for a playoff spot. Baldissimo will regroup. And that's a cutting pass in for Terran Campbell. Can he keep it in and serve it up? He can. It's in the top of the area. A dump job. Gloria Amanda gets under and it's over the bar. Elected to take on his men most of the time. He'll cut it back for Bustos. Bustos has some space to run into. A left-footed crossing to the area. It's Meyer Bevan and a headed straight into the arms of Casey Byers. That's some fine play by Bustos. And maybe with a little bit more stink on that header, it's a fine chance for Meyer Bevan. And he's got some pace now. And he's going to go for a run. He's got par on the overlap. He cuts it in. Kobayashi now, right footed, has a shot right at Richie, and it kind of handcuffed him there. But no one in the danger zone to pick up the scrap. Spencer Richie catches it about chest level. The wind really carrying them. Now Walker Humes in at the back stick. He heads across, and Spencer Richie forced to come out and put a bomb to it. That could have been dangerous. Spencer Richie wasn't paying attention, but the goalkeeper makes a vital interception. Now he's really got some space. Campbell's going to whip it in, left footed. It's in the air. Meyer Bevan's there, just not able to get ahead to it. But it falls sweetly for Chris Serb, and he has a rip. It's off the post! Chris Serbo oh, with the rip, it takes a deflection off the inside of the post and right back up. And Paro works a fine ball, it's Kobayashi, go. and he's going to take on his man. It's Danny Barbier, Kobayashi, right footed strike, in into the back of the net, a fine hit by Kobayashi on the counterattack. Kind of a broken play, but Irvin Parra stayed with it, put it on for Kobayashi, Danny Barbier not able to deal with it. It's 1-0 Orange County. I mean, you just see here, lucky to get the, the set up there, but he takes full advantage of it. Barbier... Not really a lot he could do there. Went one way, Kobayashi went the other. Slotted beautifully into the bottom corner. Well, that's a bit of a giveaway there by Franco. He goes down with an injury. Gantar says play on his Bustos so on the left, but he scores! A fine touch across from Terran Campbell. Marco Bustos makes no mistakes on the left foot. Slots it past Casey Byers for a level at 1-1. And maybe a bit of controversy as we have Franco down on the far side for Orange County. In fact, he went down of his own accord by the looks of that. Campbell cuts it back to Bustos right in the edge of the box. Slots home, bottom left-hand corner. Eighth goal of the season. 1-1 one, one now, and we should have a really entertaining last 35 minutes here. Whitecaps ecstatic to get back on level terms. And you have to say, Corey, it's what their play has deserved. Cut into the area now. Only as far as Alvarez, he turns on it. David Norman Jr. though gets in the way, and Para lashes at it, puts it over the bar. Alvarez creating some space for himself in the area there, but just not able to pull the trigger. Space to Orange County. Into the area. Stinked across is Para now. Van Evike has a shot and into the back of the net. A fine setup. Irvin Para, we said he'd gone a bit silent, but a quick layoff. And Van Evike with a fine strike. And it's Orange County 2, White Caps FC 2 1. Lovely little layoff here in sight to him. Boom. Right over the head of Spencer Ritchie. Huge goal for Orange County when they look at the playoff implications. Seven minutes to go. Is there anything left in the Whitecaps tank to get themselves back into this? You have to feel Rich Fagan's going to go to his bench now and try and throw caution to the wind. Maybe bring on Thomas Sanner, maybe bring on Michael Baldissimo, Theo Bear as well. Francis of reason. He's got help now in numbers. It's a three on two all the way across now. Is it Alvarez? It is. Left footed Alvarez shot. And a fine save by Spencer Ritchie to keep him out. It's just been inches away from headers, inches away from getting onto end of balls. Frustrating afternoon, and there goes the final whistle. Talking about a frustrating afternoon, definitely one for Whitecaps too. He's going to feel they should have got something from this. David Gantar puts the whistle up to his lips. A frustrating afternoon indeed, Michael McCall, as Whitecaps FC 2 fall 2-1 to Orange County FC. We'll come back with the full-time stats, a little bit of highlights as well. It's Corey Basso, Michael McCall in USL Soccer Action.